not passing out. Most of the pressure is on the grip, and I'm just hanging out right here. Go ahead and swing me around, Nick. See that? Now watch how I finish this. I take my right leg, hook, and drop him down to the side. Okay? I put my shoulder pressure and block, and then I just wait and have some fun. Chill right here. Guy tries to squeeze me. He's not going to get it. I'll just drive the shoulder until he's finally had enough. You all right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Were you even able to hear me when I was being lifted in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because from my point of view, my ears were like fully squeezed. I couldn't hear a thing. So I'm like talking and wondering, can they even hear me? You're still talking fine. Am I even, am I unconscious? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> so guys, you get here, we want to get up there. Okay, remember this guy can lift me off the floor with ease and he could probably hang me out there for a while. The other thing I do, I take my other leg and I swing it outward so that I can uh, kind of keep my balance and also wear on him. Basically, the more I hang off of him, the more he's got to expend some energy. So again, you guys get caught in the guillotine by a big guy. Guy lifts me up, go. I climb up here, I hang. If the guy tries to put me down or swing me around, tries to throw me somewhere, I just stay with him. Then when I feel him wearing out, hook, and the guy comes toppling down. Once I hook you, did you feel that, Nick? Yeah. It's like a surprise, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know when I'm gonna do it, and when I do it, I try to be real forceful. And if it doesn't work, I can always go back. But now once we're here on the ground, good solid shoulder pressure, and then eventually he'll realize he's gotta let go. Also, you could work into that, the Von Flew choke. There's nothing wrong with the Von Flew. Again, he's so big, I probably could barely reach my hands, but that was a good, good demonstration. 